uh, in the New Testament, certainly Jesus says, this, take this wine. He's already had a sip, whatever. Uh, in the Old Testament, they are told, the Bible actually says, do not become a drinker of water only, but take some wine for your ailments, as in like if you have some bad back or something. So when did it become haram and why did Allah change his mind? And that's why in, in Islam now I'm saying it's forbidden for me to drink alcohol because alcohol, it clouds the mind. And so why did I'm Jesus make the mind, it? I can, why did Jesus turn the water into wine? He, he, even he turned it into, uh, into that meat. But, but he it's halal it, for him. No, no, it's not about he make it. Uh, wine, you can maybe say... He sip. drank it as well. Yeah, yeah, he drank it, but not to, uh, to, uh, 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 to a no. level that he is clouded. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, no, because, but alcohol is completely haram for you. Not if One sip is not good. No, no. You, you can't do yeah, it. Yeah, but because, because uh, there are some people who will be, be uh, able to control themselves and some other when they have uh, some disaster in their life, they will rely on the alcohol to forget even themselves. Sure. And uh, you can see the society, it be become uh, gambling, uh, uh, drunken, and uh, a broken, broken family, and uh, lead to destruction of the family. And this is why uh, Quran uh, actually forbid uh, the alcohol, because alcohol, it's a, the door for uh, Bigger, uh, so what bigger happened? Disaster. Okay, so I've got a couple of things. One, when you look at a woman and have desire, yeah. whether you turn your mind away from that, okay. the Bible says you've still committed adultery in your heart. So my only my only point in making that is it's our nature, and the Bible knows that. Yeah. And the Bible doesn't condemn us for it. Okay. It just tells us that you will need forgiving for that. And you, you know, you, Paul says if you feel like you can't master this lust, get married. Yeah. <laughs> but it says if you don't want to, don't want it. Yeah. But hold on, okay. what were you talking about a second ago? Ah. Shucks, I forgot the... I talk about the, uh, the alcohol. Uh, uh, alcohol. So what happened in the 600 years between the New Testament and Muhammad? Because when Allah revealed the Torah and the um, Injil and the Psalms, alcohol was not haram in any of okay. those, anything in those. He says, uh, in the New Testament, certainly Jesus says, this, take this wine. He's already had a sip, whatever. Uh, in the Old Testament, they are told... The Bible actually says, do not become a drinker of water only, but take some wine for your ailments, as in like if you have some bad back or something. So when did it become haram and why did Allah change his mind? Uh, you know, uh, everything in this life is a test and trial. Okay. Uh, 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 this is why we say that uh, the, the Quran, actually it contains the, uh, the previous scripture and uh, contains them and bring uh, uh, a new law uh, to people because uh, uh, everything comes step by step. For example, even at the time of, of other prophet and messenger, uh, it's not allowed that you go and drink because uh, a drink and over a drink uh, will, uh, as I said, cloud your mind and you... you when did you it become going, haram? You, you, uh, uh, it became when? haram when... when? When the prophet came. Uh, when the prophet came, and bit by bit he forbid it. Uh, and he said, uh, stay away from the step of shaitan because uh, al khamar. Uh, but didn't the, he think the that alcohol, they would just be alcohol, able yeah. The alcohol will uh, make you uh, lose your your mind Senses. and you cannot even uh, stand and pray yeah. because you don't know what you're saying. Yeah, you've so, been calling uh, so, on your face. Uh, yeah, yeah, be, be, because, be, because actually... Uh, if that somebody, would be alright for Muslim well, prayers though, just if, straight down. If somebody, if somebody drunk, he can do uh, adultery, he can do killing, he can do whatever because his mind is absent. But the Bible's a bit different. The Bible says that it's stone cold sober. If I look at a man with lust, I'm all, well, it doesn't actually say that. It says if you look at a woman with lust, um, you have already sinned in your heart. You've already okay. done more than that. So what, no, what I'm saying is, Muhammad started to prohibit alcohol, okay. like it, uh, step by step, he got a bit more, because I hear what you're saying is maybe some of his reason was you might commit adultery, you might become like blasphemous, idolatrous, or something else, like a gateway. But what I'm saying to you is, Isa, um, I guess that Muslims hold to the story that he created the wine, in the you know the first miracle of okay. Jesus okay. was the making wine, not to get people drunk because it was a wedding to celebrate, to exactly. toast to glory to the exactly. God and to everyone else. So what I'm saying is, was there a story in the Quran where God changed His mind? Is it is it that it's Allah does Allah say only Muslims no, can't no, drink, no, or does Allah say no one? No, no. Uh, uh, Islam Islam come uh, to uh, 
to bring all people into uh, submission, uh, the, uh, doing the will of God and submitting to Him. And as long as God, uh, He create us and He uh, create everything for us. And this is what I'm saying. There's a trial in every single uh, uh, issue in the world. For example, a uh, woman, uh, when she, she look, she cannot uh, as well desire a man. No. Be, no? No, no, lost. So only man. Only man no, well, he was talking. Woman. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm saying, what I'm saying yeah, go on. before I, I forget, uh, uh, the for, uh, forbidden of the alcohol is uh, for uh, to preserve the family and preserve. Uh, That's the reasons for uh, yeah. it. What I'm asking is, what, what you're asking, God changed change? his mind. Yeah. God changed his mind because before. Even before, like at the time of Jesus, see, Jesus turned the water into wine, not people to get drunk, to brush Drunkenness is a sin in the Bible, I've got it. But to drink one glass of wine is not a sin, you yeah. see? Okay. So I'm asking you, if Jesus was, uh, if Isa or whatever, if Jesus was pure and, and of Allah, like if he was a holy dude, then he definitely made wine. He didn't make it so people would sin or get drunk. What I'm saying is in those time between Muhammad and Jesus, God must have said, oh, do you know what? It's better if I just say no one's allowed. Okay, you see? Uh, I will agree with you. Yeah. And I, oh, I don't want to uh, just argue for nothing. Yeah. But what I'm saying is most of the problem come uh, from uh, uh, alcohol uh, and actually... Yeah, most of the problem comes from sin though. Uh, because yeah. people, when they fall in trouble and they uh, they start to, to, to get Worship burned idols. and bit by bit, <laughs> By bed, uh, uh, they leave their children, they gamble their sure. house. Uh, uh, at the time of Prophet Muhammad, they used to uh, drink yeah. and they gamble Worship about idols, uh, running uh, around uh, naked. Uh, yep. yeah, yeah, they gamble even uh, 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 house uh, and for their family and they wow. give their, 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 their wealth and they lose everything. Yeah. And this is why uh, God forbid uh, the alcohol oh, and alcohol, want sorry. people to, to know what they are doing. Uh, and how they obey God and So let me just double check. There's because uh, we are wrapping it up now. But that would suggest that in Saudi Arabia, there's no one losing their family or gambling. Or but there is. So even just taking alcohol out, yeah. it's not the whole thing. We have to turn to God in everything. So quick wrap up because okay. I'm freezing. I mean, literally minute, wrap up with my coat. Go on. Uh, the wrap up uh, is uh, that God, uh, you know, sent prophet and messenger and uh, guidance constitution uh, uh, through uh, his book for us to be better human among ourselves among our family among our society and he wants the best for us and all what we need to do just to come back to him and love uh, to love him with all our and yeah okay brilliant so my little wrap up is it's absolutely freezing i don't know if anyone didn't catch that it's freezing but um yeah you know the reason we need to go back to god as yaya rightly says the reason is that we separated ourselves from god by our forefathers at least our ancestors because through the you know sin entered the world through one man and then by the grace of god and romans 8 28 and ephesians 10, 9 11 all things work into the good of those who love god sin was atoned for also by one man for those who believe in him let yaya go have another wrap up no so jesus subscribe to islam defender oh, yes. i have only 170. okay oh i'm gonna subscribe today okay so yeah have a look at yaya's channel it's called islam defender but is it with the def islam defender whenever you put islam defender straight away. i think it might be d-f-e-n-d-r anyway do that and then subscribe to captain bloodfire then subscribe to k soko films then Soko Films, much. then Soko Studios, then subscribe to Jesus. You do this by believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead, confessing with your mouth that he is Lord. All the rest will fall into place. If it's not self, if it don't sweat it. And um, see you later. Yeah, we are back at Speaker's Corner. I can't believe it, but it's really cold. So let's just wrap this up literally because my coat needs doing up. All right, God bless you all. Love you lots. Bye, bye, bye.